We're just going to go through some examples, but you can reference those um, as needed. Okay, so as always, the first thing you should always look for when it says factor is you should look for a GCF. Okay, so with this first example, 125 m cubed plus 1, there's no GCF, right? Because 1, there's no GCF there. Okay, then you need to check and make sure that they are perfect cubes. Okay, 125 is a perfect cube, 1 is a perfect cube, 1 is perfect to everything. Okay, 1 to any power is itself. So, <clears throat> excuse me, it works for all situations. What we do is we set up two sets of parentheses. We set up a binomial and we set up a trinomial. You may, I don't know if you want to put some blanks there or uh, what, but to kind of help you out, know what you're expecting, uh, you can probably drop that after the first couple of examples, okay? So what we do is we take the cube root of the first term. So the cube root of 125m cubed is 5m. That goes in the first spot in the binomial. We take the cube root of the other term. In this case, that is 1. That goes in the second spot of the binomial. All right, now we fill in the trinomial using what is in our binomial. So in the first spot, we are going to square 5m. So that's 25m squared. We square both the number and the variable. Now, I don't know why, but I always go to the last one next. Okay, so I square the second term. I square the 1 and put that in the last spot. In the middle spot, I'm going to multiply these two together. So in this case, 5m times 1 is 5m. That goes in the middle spot. That's the order I learned it in. That's the order I teach it in. Okay, and then notice I haven't put any signs in there. Okay, I leave that for the end. Uh, you use the acronym SOAP. Okay, same. So whatever sign was right here goes in the first spot. Use the opposite sign, and then the last sign is always positive. Same, opposite, always positive. Okay, let's do another example. Eight plus twenty-seven m. Michael, turn around. <coughs> 8 and 27 don't have a GCF. They are perfect square, uh, perfect cubes. Apparently I'm on the square train this morning. Perfect cubes. Take the cube root of 8, that is 2. Take the cube root of 27m cubed, that's 3m. Okay, it really doesn't matter. The variable came second. I'm just going to leave it in the order that it showed up in the problem. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, so square the 2, that goes in the first spot. Square the 3m, that goes in the last spot, 9m squared. Multiply those two together, that gives us 6m, that goes in the middle. Same, opposite, always positive, positive, negative, positive. So yes, factoring these does make our problem bigger, all right? But this is the only way that we can solve um, for all the solutions of a cubic function like this, okay? And we'll get into that uh, next week. We'll look at solving these functions. Uh, but right now, that's, that's why we're doing this, okay? Now, the reason why I put example C up here is because people tend to overlook it uh, because it's m cubed plus 1. Well, again, one is a perfect cube, so it works, okay? We can still do the same thing. It would be m and one are the cube roots. Square the m, square the one, multiply them together, same, opposite, always positive. Yeah. Okay. Now, <clears throat> another note, I haven't mentioned that before now, but uh, this trinomial will a lot of times look like it can factor further. Okay, In this case, that would look really close to something that will factor again, but these trinomials are never, ever factorable. Okay? They are never factorable further. Um, so really, once you do this, you are done. You don't have to worry about anything else factoring uh, like you some ha sometimes have to with grouping and quadratic form and stuff. Okay? 
So we'll get a couple more. 256x cubed plus 108. Here is an example of where 256 and 108 are not perfect cubes. Okay? 256 and 108 are not on our perfect cube list. So the only way this is going to factor is if they have a GCF. Okay, the, if they have a GCF. So I'm going to try three. Nope, that didn't work. Uh, how about four? Four works, maybe. Yes, four works. <clears throat> okay, so start by taking out a GCF of four. When we do, we're left with 64x cubed plus, was that 16? No. 27. Okay, 64x cubed plus 27. Now, 64 and 27 are perfect cubes, so we are good to go now. All right, the cube root of 64 is 4x, cube root of 27 is 3, square the 4, 16x squared, square the 3 to get 9, multiply them together to get 12x. So, same, opposite, always positive. Okay, let's do one more like this and then we'll look at a couple with a minus sign in them. Okay, <clears throat> so 4x cubed plus 4, again, 4 and 4 are not perfect cubes. Obviously, we have a GCF here of 4. Pull out the 4, left with x cubed plus 1 cube root of x, cube root of 1, square the x, square the 1, multiply them together, same, opposite, always positive. Alright, now just a couple of examples here with a minus in there, a difference of perfect cubes. Okay, it does not change anything about the problem whatsoever, except when we assign our signs, they're going to be the opposite of what we just did. <clears throat> so, 1 minus 125 x cubed. Uh, 1 and 125 are perfect cubes, so we can go from there. Square the 1, square the 5 x, multiply them together. This time, the first sign was negative, so the same is going to be negative. The opposite is going to be positive, and then the last one is always positive. Okay, <clears throat> 216a cubed minus 125. Those are perfect cubes. 6 and 5. Square the 6a, 36a squared, square the 5, 25, multiply the 6a and the 5 together to get 30a, same as negative, opposite is positive, last sign is always positive. Alright, last example, let's do one with a GCF with a difference. Okay, two things going on here. First of all, um, it doesn't even look like the difference perfect cubes because we have x squared and x to the fifth. There's a GCF, okay, we need to take out an x squared. And then between 375 and 648, I do believe it is three, because three times 125 is 365. <clears throat> okay, or 375, excuse me. So that's gonna leave us with 125, minus 216x cubed. When we take out a 3x squared, we're left with 125 minus 216x cubed. Now that's the difference of perfect cubes. 5 and 6x square the 5, square the 6x, multiply them together. Same. Opposite, always positive. And that is how you factor 